Uh, I like to tell this story about Phil Mickelson. Uh, a few years back, for those of you who don't know, Phil Mickelson is a top golfer. Uh, and a few years back, he was playing in the Northern Trust Open down in Los Angeles. And after the first day of a four-day tournament, he's out of the money. He's over par. It's not looking good. So what Phil does is he flies his personal coach, Butch Harmon. He actually sends his private jet to go to Arizona, pick up Butch Harmon, fly him to Los Angeles, and they spend a couple hours in the late afternoon and early evening and work on his game. Now, one of the things I find interesting about this situation is that Phil Mickelson is a better golfer by a mile than Butch Harmon ever was. So why would you hire somebody who's not as good as you to help you improve your game in the midst of a tournament? Well, the answer is, is, is that Butch is good at identifying certain things in Phil's swing. It might be grip, it might be the way he's turning, his balance, uh, you know, follow through. It could be anything. But what Phil's looking for is just a little help. Well, anyway, flash forward three days, Phil Mickelson wins the tournament. He wins by one stroke. That means he's approximately 1 280th better than number two. But he won a half a million dollars more for being only 1 280th better. So why do I tell that story? Well, I'd like you, in some, to some extent, think of me not as the club pro, but more the Butch Harmon. What we're trying to do is take what's already a very good game and find a couple of strokes. Because at your level, a small difference can mean the difference between winning or losing one of those major bake-offs that could make your year. So think of it in that context. Uh, I, like Butch Harmon, I'm not as good as you are at what you do. But I am pretty good at identifying some of the things that the best players do to win, as well as what clients are doing and why they're doing it. And sometimes that combination, we can find a few strokes. In fact, one of the things I'll ask you, tw actually twice today, those of you who are going to be with us just for the 90 minutes, and then particularly those of you that are going to be here for the rest of the day, is I'm going to ask you if you found a stroke. And if so, where?